most of the year. I'm Anissa. And I'm Presley. First, let's take a look at the weather for this week. On Monday and Tuesday, the high is 84 and the low is 60. On Wednesday, the high is 84 and the low is 59. On Thursday and Friday, the high is 85 and the low is 60. Now let's hand it over to Ruby with our patriotic activity this week, American Business Women's Day. <laughs> American Business Women's Day is about recognizing women who own businesses and work in business. We celebrate the American Business Women's Association that was incorporated on September 22, 1949, when many women had lost their jobs after World War II. But Bufton Jr. felt that all women deserved equal business opportunities and had gained tremendous business knowledge during World War II, so they should be qualified for any job. In the present, the mission of this association is to bring together business women and provide opportunities for them to grow personally and professionally. And now there are more than 68 million working women and 7.7 .7 million women business owners in America today. Now, back to Presley and Nisa for some more announcements. How inspiring. And now off to Angelina for the College of the Week. The College of the Week is Claremont McKenna College. Some things about the college is that it's a private liberal arts college in Claremont, California. The campus is about 35 miles away from Moore Middle School. Their mascot is a stage male deer named Stanley. They are known for their beautiful campuses and was built in 1887. Their college colors are maroon, dark gray, and white, so make sure to wear them next Thursday. Now to the anchors. And now off to Ruby with the announcements. What's up, Monarchs? Did you catch the volleyball game this Monday? If not, that's okay, because there's another one coming up on next Monday, the 25th. In upcoming news, there will be a movie night on next Friday on the 29th. Join us here at Moore to watch this Big Bowl Me 3. Be sure to bring your friends and family. Last Thursday was a community event called Lotaria Night. Lotaria is almost like bingo, except you use cards instead of like the dice roller thing to actually know what you're gonna get. And basically you use beans to put on your card to get five in a row and then you win. And you say, which was a great success, thanks to all that showed up in support. Don't forget, Monarchs, September 29th is the last day to pre-order your yearbook for $45. On the note, here's the photo of the week. Breaking news. In sports news, there was a game against Cope last Monday. Unfortunately, the girls and boys suffered a tough loss against Cope, but on a good note, the sixth grade team won. In event news, two days ago, there was a family skate night at Cal Skate Bowl. Let's look at the footage from skate night on Wednesday. everyone had fun at family skate night. Yeah, now let's hear a story behind our school mascot. Hello Monarchs, have you ever wondered who is the person in the mascot costume? This is a question we'll be answering later, but for right now, let's take a look into the mascot's past. This is Carrie Dunn. He was part of the first graduating class of Moore Junior High in 1966. Well, one thing is, I was in student council then, and I, I was a ninth grader, and they had the student council pick possible mascots. What, and I, came, I was the one that happened to suggest Monarchs, named after a high school that Redlands High School was playing football against, Modern Day High School, they were the mo and still are the Modern Day Monarchs. And, that just seemed like a good M word to go with more. 
Mm -hmm. So that was my suggestion. So when I when I drive by more now up on fifth above the athletic fields and look over and see that big sign on the locker rooms that say Monarch Pride, I'm sort of proud of monarchs. Now let's show you the person who chose our current mascots. So for the students that are our mascot, but we're looking for energy, kids that like to have fun, dance around, silly. So we have our mascots here to help promote school spirit, just to high five, get people energized, get people excited about school and get that monarch spirit. We did get our brand new mascot, our newest mascot that's been out there, was just donated by PTSA last year to us. So we're excited to kind of get to name them and create a good history for those. Now let's see the hardworking students behind the monarch mask. Um, being the mascot's really fun because a bunch of people will like come up to you and give you high fives and stuff. And I mean, until now, nobody knew who we were. So that was fun, but it also is very hot and sweaty and like the heads smell like sweat, so that's fun. I do enjoy being a mascot. It's super fun to like dance around and be awesome and funny. I like to give them high fives and hugs if they want them. Okay. Why do you think we need a mascot? I think we need a mascot at more so we have someone to interact with the kids and have fun and to bring all the students so they can come to the events. Now that you have the story of the mascot, treat them with the respect they deserve. Keep up the school spirit and go Monarchs! <laughs>